One win in the last 10 Premier League games. Is there a temptation to shake things up? Yeah, there's always uh, there's always an option to to do a lot of radical things when you uh, when you lose football matches. You don't tend to do them as much when you win football matches, that's for sure. But I think what we've got to try and do is uh, is keep a level head about ourselves as a team and a group, and and what we're trying to uh, to reinforce on the training ground. And uh, it was disappointing last weekend very disappointing that we conceded three goals in a game which you know at times we we performed very well in I know that sounds a little bit a bit uh, a bit odd but that was the way it went first half in particular was probably some of our best football we've played all season but we didn't get anything out of it and we didn't convert our chances which is important at this level so then you're always on the end of what possibly could happen and, and we suffered defensively and uh, we have to uh, make sure that doesn't happen again. You mentioned conceding goals there. Do you need to get back to keeping clean sheets to give you yourselves a platform to win games? Well, if we spin it on its head and look at it the other way around, I'd like to score more goals because I think at this level it is difficult to score goals but it's also quite easy to concede goals because of the quality that's in the division and whatever slight error we make or whatever decision we get wrong the ball can be in the back of the net as it showed you know in the difference in in the finishing against Sunderland so yeah we want to remedy certain situations which is not to concede too many goals but also when you get opportunities to score you've got to be more determined in in that area of the field to give yourself a chance to win football matches the next three West Brom Middlesbrough and Palace in the Premier League. How crucial are those three games to, to survival hopes? Well, they're no more crucial than any other game because, you know, after them we go into major part of the season, which is Christmas, and the games come thick and fast. So we've got to prepare just for every game that comes our way, and I don't want to think any further ahead than West Bromwich Albion because that's the most important game we have to play. Um, and what team plays and represents this football club will will I'm no doubt react from uh, the disappointments of last week. They had a good win on Monday, what are you expecting from them? Typical Tony Fumas? Yeah, I was at the game, I went down there, I had a good look. Um, they were very, very purposeful in the way they went about the job and the game was over very, very quickly. You know, they got two very quick goals. They looked to dominate from then on and, uh, and it forced Burnley into a situation that they don't like being in, which is chasing the game obviously when you do that then uh, you're exposing yourself so they did a very thorough and professional job and I expect that tomorrow from them you know and Tony is a very organized and a very senior manager at this level so he won't be taking any chances he won't be taking any risks with his team he'll just go about his daily job as he normally does and be very professional. Bridging closer to the transfer window given the injury to Will Keane he's a striker going to be your number one priority in January? Well it fits certainly when you're not scoring goals that's for sure and, uh, and we've lost we've lost Will um, we have Diamandi back now um, who comes into the frame again after his suspension and Bacani we possibly will lose in the uh, after January because of the African nations with his country so we have to look into that area and uh, you know you don't win football matches without Scoring goals and strikers in the main are the ones who can do that. Could you revive your interest in Jay Rodriguez? You mentioned you, you looked at him in the summer. Yeah, I've looked at lots of strikers, you know, of all different levels and, uh, and different qualities. And there are the ones that are up there with the best, which you've obviously no chance of, of getting at this football club. But we are trying, we are interested in a couple. Um, people like Jay Rodriguez are obviously getting sporadic games at their football clubs but there are, other, are others so we just have to monitor everybody and hopefully we can get the right ones that fit into uh, into the into the January transfer window that we can possibly potentially bring in. Elmo, West Brom are at home, is this a game if you're to survive this season that you have to be targeting all three points from? Of course yeah, one of the games we, uh, we have a target this season uh, especially after the defeat against Sunderland last week. Um, training being positive this week, so 
everyone looking forward to the game. It's important for us um, to, to get the three points tomorrow to get out of the bottom three. You were part of the side that was relegated a couple of years ago. What are the comparisons between this group of players and that one? Uh, it's too early to think about relegated now, so it's a negative thing to, to think about it at the minute. So um, we're just looking forward to the game. It's one of um, of the game we're looking forward to get the three points of. You played different formations this season defensively with the four at the back and the five. What's your preference? What are you more, more comfortable in? We just play one game, I think, uh, with the five in the back. I think the Gaffa uh, likes four more than five at the back. So it's uh, it's different. Yeah, it's a different situation. We uh, we played five at the um, maybe last three four years with the with the Brucey. So it's different now. You play four in the back and you play at the at the right back. It's, uh, it's a different formation. So we have to to keep going with it because it's uh, I think for me it's uh, it's more forward uh, tactic more than five at the back. Uh, that's what the Gaffer uh, wants to to give to us. You know to play attacking football. Uh, so this is decision, and we uh, we have to go with. Obviously, on the horizon for you is the the African Cup of Nations. Do you expect to to get called up, and is that something you're thinking about already? Yeah, I've been called up uh, in the last three uh, in the last three games. So I think yeah, expecting to be called up in um, in the next month or so. It's uh, it's important for uh, for the country. You know we. Um, we didn't we didn't qualify for the last three times in the Africa of Nations, so it's important this time to be uh, a part of the team. Of course, um, it would be disappointing if I go to uh, to 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 lose three games here. I think it will be like three four weeks if we if we get to the final. Uh, but it's uh, something I have to do it. Is that? Sort of the difficulty in your mind that yeah, great to be called of up course, in these yeah, games. Of course, yeah, of course, yeah. It's some something you, you're looking forward to to play with the, with your country, but <coughs> at the same thing is um, it's not good, you know, to miss three four games. It's, um, it's for me because you know I didn't miss lots of games before, so it, it would be difficult for me to miss you know three four weeks here. Okay. Right. Can I? Sorry. No. Sure. Good. Can I just ask uh, for your views um, on your young teammate, the teenager Josh, who's uh, coming to the team? Yeah. H how good is it? Is he now, and how good could he be? Jo um, I think Josh been with us for like a year now, from, from the last year, you know, when he played against Arsenal. He's um, he's improved a lot, you know. He's been with it around the changing room. He learned a lot, and he made his um, Premier League debut last week. So. It's uh, it's very good, you know. It, it's good for uh, for the club. It, uh, it's it's good. It's very good for the manager to give uh, the young lads uh, the chance, you know. So he's a he's a good lad. He's a good player. So we're looking forward to uh, for him for uh, for uh, a good, very good future, you know, for the club.